Hi guys, Giovanni here again and today we'll be moving on to Logisim. So in previous videos I demonstrated how you could use Multisim to do circuit constructions, right? Today, however, we'll be starting Logisim, which is simpler than Multisim and is also free software. So first you'd want to go to where you have multi Logisim stored, sorry, and open. And then when you double click on the executable file your workspace should come up looking something like this so as you can see the layout itself is even more basic than the one that we had in multisim and for your purposes you won't be really using much of the gates that they have besides you know the typical x or no and and what so on and so forth so let's just place some typical gates on your workspace and derive the expressions and truth tables for them. So we'll go over to the left hand side of the screen and see these folders. We click on gates and you'll see a list of gates come down. So to select one of the gates you just use your pointer left click. So I'll start with a NOT gate and you place it on your working area. When you place the gate in your working area and you see that it's selected, in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, a characteristic box should come up giving you the details of how you set the output, the logic gate. So let's just draw out a wire from here. To draw out wires from the gate, you pull, you click left, and then you, you click left click, and then you pull the wire out. Right, so you left click and hold it down and you just drag. So I'm drawing out a wire from the input and now one from the output. Now in Logisim, there are special pins for the use for the input and the output. The input pins are given by these squares at the top left hand side of the screen. So you place this at the inputs of the gate. And the output is the circular one at the top left hand side of the screen. So you place that the output. And there you have the logic gate. As you can see, on the working area, you can see that there is an output of high already that already when the output is set to low. So logic sim simulation is real time. So as soon as you connect the circuit, it simulates. No need to press play like in Multisim. In Logisim, it acts as though the circuit has already been powered. So now we'll want to observe the characteristics of this simple circuit. So we'll go to the top left hand corner of the screen and click project. Analyze circuit in the drop down menu. And this combination analysis window should open. This window contains all the information about the circuits that you need to know. So there's the input. They call they call this input here A. It's arbitrarily assigned a value. The output is called X, and this is the truth table, which is the truth table found not gate. When A is one value, X is the opposite. So when A is low, X is high, and when A is high, X is low. This is the expression, which this means not A, the output is not A, and minimized. Well, minimizes, this represents kernel maps and some of products, product of some expressions, but this is beyond your curriculum. So if you want, you can go and look up kernel maps. I might post a link in the description leading you to find further information online just for light reading. So now that we've implemented a NOT gate, let's try another gate. Let's try a NAND gate. Immediately as you place the gate on the work area, you should see that there are 5 pins. And if you can't see it too clearly, it's because the work area is not really that zoomed in. But in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you'll see number of inputs. What you want to do here is change this to 2. Well, for our purposes right now. And now let's pull the wires out by left clicking on the input side and dragging out. 
and now on the output side the same way in multi sim you will right click on components and select delete you can also do that in logisim also left clicking moves components but you'll have to note this left clicking would move the component without the wires unless of course you left click and select the entire component and then you hold it down you can move it right now we need to put in the inputs so we take the inputs and replace them now finally the output and here's something I didn't show you in the previous circuit we can go to the top left hand corner of the screen and select the hand pointing tool this tool allows us to toggle bits on the work area so let's toggle the input bits to achieve different outputs so there's a NAND gate so it is the opposite output of an AND gate or the inverted up output of an AND gate so when both inputs are high the output is low otherwise the output is high now we can go into the project drop down menu analyze circuit and we can see the combinational analysis the inputs are A and B, again arbitrarily assigned. The outputs X and the table of course is the truth table of a NAND gate. Once again the expression is not A and B. And minimize well, these are the corner maps. So there you have it. We demonstrated placing two simple logic systems on the work area in Logisim and showed how you can use the analyze circuit tool to discover information about the circuit characteristics. In our next video we'll be tackling key pass paper questions using Logisim to solve, sol solve the problems. Thanks for listening guys.